Okay, basics, basics. What do we have here? Okay, this is a person in their first normal. Okay. The next dimension is this one here. It has more finer energy. Okay. So this person has an idea or a desire of something more. As soon as he has the idea, he's touching, that idea is touching the next more, which activates in relation to the idea. Okay? The proper idea to the energy, uh, there's a balance between those two. Unless you're going to get weird and have an outlandish idea, I don't know what the energies will, will be. Or if they'll say, this is too outlandish, we're not going to do anything. <laughs> okay, so a proper lineup idea to the energy, energy response. Okay? Um, so balance, relationship, harmony. There's a natural harmony. This uh, uh, sense of idea to the energy is a small version, but very important, a smaller version of mind-body harmony. Okay, and that version is based on a bigger version of some great idea of creation. And following it, just lickety split, is all the stuff of creation. So there's a original perfect harmony. But that's the big picture. We'll come back on that another day. I think I'll probably label it uh, a big part of the big picture in case we need two classes for that. Uh, but anyway, this is based on something bigger. So if we get it, the tricks of the trade, uh, at the first level, it will facilitate the continuing of tricks of the trade, finer and finer, and for lack of words, bigger and bigger. Okay? Uh, careful of the word bigger. As we do dimensional, it'll look bigger. Uh, oh, since I would say careful of bigger. I don't want you to dissipate. He said, say finer. So each dimension is finer than the previous one is the game. That's how it works. Uh, let's see. I'm checking my board. Okay. Let's start with uh, an exercise. Uh, Katya. Four from. Okay. Look. Watch her. Sit up. Okay. Okay. Just watch. She'll do a couple. And, and, and sit up. Okay. And one more just so they can get a flavor for back. And, and sit up. Okay. Now. Do you, I hope you all have room to lie down, okay? Would you go into a lie down? Go ahead, lie down, Katya. Give me a reference here. Okay, so everybody is lying down. I don't want you to think about sit-ups. We're not going to do any sit-ups, okay? What I want you to do now is relax. Settle. Pull out. Let go. Again, find your own words. It's like your cube of butter on a hot day, and you're just melting into the floor. Okay? Parts of you are settling first, other parts are staying up, but as you continue more fully, uh, feel the parts that are melting down in, and the higher parts will begin to follow suit. Settling, spreading. Out your melting butter. Easy. Let go. Nothing to think about, so don't go heavy into what are we doing, why are we, where are we going, stop. Feel, breathe, settle, feel settled. Okay, so everybody's on the ground settling, right? 
Okay. Now, I'm going to do a little something. Stay settling. Settle as I talk. Uh, the command is going to be get ready, get set, go. Okay. Now, again, a moment. Double check settling. Pooling. Relax. Nothing to do now. Settle. We're not going to do anything. Flavor. Okay. Now, we're going to do 20 push-ups. Sit-ups. Sorry. We're going to do 20 sit-ups. Ready? Get set. Stop. Easy and feel. Feel. Now, what I was trying to do was call up a bunch of energy, which hopefully you're feeling, sense feeling now. Okay? We called up energy. It's there. One question I would have is, what are you calling the after effect of that? Would you say, oh, I'm getting anxious? Would you say excited? Would you say, I can't cope with this thing? What's your, your? after effect from calling this up what do you call that okay easy okay i think good enough there thank you okay ah, so what i was hoping to do was to uh, show you so you could experience hopefully uh, this energy moving around it's not just some idea of energy it's an actual, and I was hoping you could feel that, uh, that stuff that was activating. Also, I wanted to show you how, here's a good time where I wish we could talk back and forth fast, but we can't do it in this circumstance. Uh, but to listen to your words, oh, I was anxious, or I was excited. Uh, for some people, when I said, okay, well, I, I called up this energy, and your system responded, and when I said, stop some of you probably got angry at me for stopping you because you had all this energy and in a certain way didn't have any place to go so i said stop with the sit-ups we're not going to sit up so anxiety excitement anger at me okay and whatever else right? uh, to show you how when energy is activating we make up stories about it okay so for those who are saying oh that made me anxious where are you going to go next with that? Doctor, I'm anxious all the time. I give me a pill. And therapist, why am I anxious all the time? And you're going off and off and off. But it's kind of basic. It's kind of basic. All right? So in many ways, we call up the energy. In many ways, the energy itself, how to say this, uh, will want to activate to help push you along to a better level of you, to a better you character so bobby might be pushed by the energies of robert that want to come into play and be robert here okay uh drive time for a story yeah quickie as a young man okay, 19 i was working in a factory just to make some money uh and i was a bit of an athlete then right but i'm getting like sick my heart suddenly palpitating at different times. I'm getting dizzy. And what the hell is this? I went to a doctor. He was sharp. He did all the basic tests, but he spotted me from the get-go. Finally, we got, finally, he's talking to me. Nothing shows up in the test. Uh, how you doing? Do you have a girlfriend? How you doing there? Where do you work? I said, oh, this factory. He spotted me. He said, you can't stay there. You've got to move along in life. So being in a factory as Bobby, my Robert, the more of me, the better character was crowding me. And I was, these energies were affecting me physically. My first understanding of psychosomatic illness. And I really was, wow, that's fascinating how strong it can be. What is it? How does it work? So that was one of my earlier beginnings in this study. Okay. Uh, did you follow that story okay? Gotcha? Yeah? Okay. Ah. Okay. Um, so, so I need page two. Another part of this 
uh, let's go back over this again. There's an idea or a desire or a wish on your own word, idea. I have an idea I would like to be better. Okay, I have an idea. The idea done properly presents down to the active energy. The active energy is touched by that idea and responds. So we got arrows down to touch and arrows up, meaning it's responding. And as that happens, that response of energy mixes, is my word, it mixes up a better character. I am Robert. I'm not Bobby, I'm Robert. Okay. Um, so be careful what, what you're thinking. That's where that came from. If you're thinking stupid, dumb, negative thoughts, what are you calling up? Okay? All right. So careful what you think because <laughs> you're calling something up. may not be what you want. <sighs> if you're going to practice, don't confuse the system. If you can give an idea to get the energy, I don't know, uh, make up a story. You're at the golf course, whatever. And you want to play golf. You're a golfer. You want to play golf. But then you start thinking about your relationship with your teenage kid, which is not good. And, and you're thinking about that. Uh, you, you've just screwed up the golf idea to the golfer energy, which mixes up golfer having fun. Uh, so you, you screwed up your alignment. So be careful when you play or practice, uh, that that you don't throw out too many things at once. I don't know if I could say it confuses the system, but in a certain way it confuses the system, okay? So you can't have two thoughts, three thoughts, four thoughts, and have any semblance of balance and harmony and orderliness, okay? Uh, since I like that a lot about being at first orderly or squared away or properly present. Okay, uh, let's see. You got your chair for stand and sit? All right, set your chair up. If it's a lounging chair, this won't work very well unless you're sitting on the edge of it. Okay, you can stand. Okay, now this practice is going to be for sitting, settling. Okay, ah, sit, settle, easy. I would suggest a sense of opening. Open as you settle. Open as you settle. Feel. There's a bunch of ideas about this, but that's that. This experience. Feel your butt on the chair. Feel your feet on the floor. Feel this maybe, uh, I don't know, a little widening. Oh, I feel a little more. I feel a little more present. I feel a little bit lower in my tummy. Whatever, whatever. Okay, your experience. I'm just saying mine to give you an example. Okay, and standing. Okay. That's that. Now, again, settling. Settle. Ah, open. Experience feel, different than thinking about feeling. Experience feel. Settling, being present, not as an idea, but as an experience. I feel a little bit, sense of being lower. There's also a sense here of being calmer. What's yours? Settle. Open. Be present. Open. I want the experience of it, not the ideas of it. In fact, what I might do t today to distinguish between feeling, experiencing, and the idea, instead of doing idea, I think I'll do idea. Okay. That's an idea. This over here is experience, actual experience. That's an idea. 
Okay, I might do that today. Just to distinguish instead of saying this is feeling and this is an idea. Maybe they're too close, so I'll really go outlandish. That's an idea. Okay, here's my idea. Have a proper idea to feed to the system. System energy responds back as best as it can, equal to your idea. It's trying to, they're in relationship, body, mind, harmony eventually, which is, anyway, we don't want to go into the big picture, but there is a relationship. So once you understand that, you'll be more aware and careful of what you're thinking. Uh, okay. So I tell a story in Japan, I was walking to my apartment, and as I was walking way, way in the back of my mind, uh, I was thinking negative, not conscious that damn fool really pissed me off today. I wasn't that conscious, it's vague, vague. I barely picked it up that I was thinking negative back there, but I caught it, I was thinking negative. And I thought, that's not right. I shouldn't be doing that. So uh, purposefully, I would practice because I knew if I just, just walked to my apartment, uh, that could happen again. So when I started walking to my apartment, playing with centering, I'd line up the telephone pole and then line up to the next pole, and I'd be centered on that center. And I'd just play a game to be positively active. Okay, I chose to do that. Okay, don't know if that story helped, but that's where I'm coming from. Uh, one more. Uh, this is standing. Yeah. Now, now we're going to sit, settle, relax, open. Be more present here as an experience, not an idea, as an experience. Okay. Everyone okay so far? Ah, and again, it'd be nice to talk to different people and say, well, what's your feeling of settling on the chair and because okay, you're all having uh your own particular for you so i say settle you might like a different word uh, let go of all of this nonsense out there let it go so you can settle uh, let go open you might like uh, instead of opening Settling down, clearing, clearing from all of this stuff, from Bobby's stuff, clearing from that. We'll see, we'll see. Just let go of Bobby's stuff for a bit. Clear. Again, find your own work, okay? Now we're going to change the practice. Uh, one more stand. <clears throat> okay. And once more, sit, settle. Open, clear, and I want to stand better. That's my idea. I'm not sure what better means. So again, you'll have your own, whatever happens is your style of the moment. I want to stand better. That idea is touching the pool of energy. And the pool of energy is touched by it in a certain way, feels the idea and responds. And it mixes up he who stands. Okay. Now, I'd like you to uh, experience, send an idea, the energy mixes up. Oh, sensei would say there, recreate yourself. Good word uh, to start with. I, for me, I like mix it. The energies mix up a character, a character. I'm here. I'm he who stands. I. That's an important piece. I'll get into that hopefully a little clearer after a few minutes. You ready? Settling is opening. I still have an idea that I want to stand better. Okay. And open. It's mixing, it's gathering and mixing, and mixing up this character. Okay. In my case, what I noticed and sort of liked was I didn't have to use my muscles so much. There was a kind of a flow up through my body, kind of 
slowed me up. I didn't have to struggle up like my age would have me do. <laughs> ah, settling. Opening. Still on that same run. I'd like to stand better. You should have a little sense of how you're standing. Are you standing stronger? Are you standing uh, flowingly? Are you standing uh, gracefully? Are you standing whatever? You should have your own flavor there. If you're really here sensing, boom. Okay, mine is a little, for me, of course, is a little more strong, determined. Boom, I'm here, ready for whatever. That's me. What's yours? What's yours? Okay. It could be fluid. It could be prettier. It could be flowing. Ah, so you should have your own flavor. See, the pattern's the same for everybody. But your flavor is yours. I'm trying to teach you patterns. Who you are is who you are. Okay. If you're a musician, then with different practices, stand as a musician. If you're a warrior, stand as a warrior. If you're a, uh, a lover, stand as a lover. Parent, stand as a parent. It, it, your own style, your own who are you character. All right. So I'll throw out mine as example, but I always be ready to check yours. Sometimes mine and yours will be very similar. And now and then they'll be the same. Uh, but your mix is your mix. Okay? And the character that's mixed is you. Character I make is me. Okay? Man, suddenly. Opening. A little more sensitivity. Sense feeling. The energies are mixing and gathering. And, and. Is it time yet? And here they come. Boom. I stood up strongly. Feel yourself. Not think about yourself. You think about that. You're off the game. Breathe yourself. Feel yourself. You're a standerer. Ah. Okay. A fuller sense of yourself as that character. Ah. Uh, last one. Settle. Ah. Clear. Open. Easy. Find your own words. Sense of opening. Ah. The energies are gathering. Now try to pick up their timing. They're gathering. Wait, hey, don't jump the gun. Gathering. Boom. And I felt like I almost like I was lifted. Almost a little bit like God's hands were under my butt and flowed me up. <laughs> uh, for those of you from Hawaii, hi, Gina. Uh, it's kind of like waiting for the right wave. On a practice like this, the energies are gathering, and you might feel a few small waves. But after a while, you learn not to try to come in with your surfboard on the small waves. So why, why bother? After a while, you can kind of tell, yeah, small wave. Uh-oh, here it comes. The next one's going to be a doozy. Yes, that one. And you ride the big wave. After a while, you can feel when it's, when it's really ready to go with this time allotted. I mean, we could stay there longer. We could stay here for an hour and wait for the giant wave. But within the timing practice that we're, we're doing, there'll be one Boom, that's better than the other. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? So kind of like surfing. Listening to the wave. <laughs> Riding them properly. I think okay on that. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, folks. Ah. Okay. Okay, a couple of just dialogue here. Uh. We have a tendency in the human condition to have a lot of experience with ideas and awareness and, and all that mental part and to be quite lacking in, in this experiential part. 
are what we'll temporarily call body. Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, we have little stories about this. Uh, uh, this guy talks big, but he can't produce. Great ideas, but he ain't got the where to for to do it. So he's bullshit. All right. You know those people. Uh, this guy could bite off with his big idea more than he can chew. He can't intake that much energy. He can't chew that much. He bit off more than he can chew. So we're aware of this thing. We just have used uh, different words. Okay. But that's what's going on with that, that kind of phraseology. Uh, we make jokes about this guy. He's a legend in his own mind. He thinks he's great. We don't see the actual character of great, but in his mind, he's great. Okay. Uh, Ah, oh, since that little bit stand. Form a character. Okay, an important part of character. So we have the idea of within that character. We have the energy that balances it out. And that's what it's trying to do. So the idea and the amount of energy and the actual mixed character I am. The important piece there is that I. Not I. Okay. Hang on. I, let's use a core. I with the core. I as core. Or I using center to rep. I centered. I centered stand. Uh, so it's very important that that personal piece, the I, the me, the self, the truer self, is inhabiting positioned here in this character if we have an i'm aware of that character from out here uh the character is something's missing and the character dissipates really fast could be there sort of for a moment but he dissipates fast when you have the proper lineup of the idea with the energy and allowed to mix fully boom i am a standerer this character will last quite a while. Oh, eventually, eventually he'll dissipate because other things will come up. But he can really naturally sustain himself. He's not uh, talking about something else. He's, this is him. Okay? Are we all right so far? Yeah. Uh, let me check my notes. Oh, my body. I think okay, yeah. We're flipping pages here. Okay. Uh, practice. Okay. Now, I think the heading for this workshop was situational. Okay. Uh, let's look at it this way. Uh, one, uh, let's say with sit stand. That was just a practice we made up to practice to practice how the process works and to get some experience so you make up a dumb game that's not really important to you you make it up as a game okay uh, and then you can practice with a clearer sense of the process because you're not invested a certain way it's not like, oh i gotta get better at this or i'm gonna lose my job you see uh it's something simple something simple uh, I remember as a kid throwing the ball against the wall, bing, bing, bang, bing, bing, bang. Uh, something like that where you almost don't care, but but you're seeing how the process works, okay? Uh, if I open, does it throw better? If I open, it be better. Do I catch better? But but it's, it's a dumb game. You, you know it, okay? Uh, so there's that set of things. Next set would be things that are a little more personal. I want to be a better parent. So energies are starting to mix to create a better daddy or mommy. Okay? So it's not just physical. We show a lot of physical because it's a little easier to get the tricks of the trade. But this mix is for everything. 
You want to be a better salesman? Bing! <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Napoleon Hill, thinking your way to riches. More advanced than his first layout, I warn you. But it's an old book. It's been around. It's still on the bestseller list, I think. Uh, thinking your way to riches. How to, how to conceive something so that, boom, you can be a rich man. Again, it's a little more advanced than this form, but we got to start someplace. Good form to start with. But there's that. Oh, okay, where am I going? Where am I going? Personal, the better. Okay. So you've got things you're really interested in. I'm, I'm a golfer and I got to be a better golfer. I'm a parent. I want to be a better parent. I'm a salesman. I want to sell more. Okay. Use this same process. Okay. Because the energies aren't just physical. They'll, they'll mix up uh, whatever. Uh, better salesman. It might, might kick in a lot of awareness of clients where you'll have a feeling for the person you're trying to sell to. And you'll know if you overstep your bounds, then you'll know, here, there's a way I can reach them. Uh, that will be part of the mix. So the energies are intelligent. This guy up here tends not to, this guy tends not to know that. It's all of his intelligence is here. Uh, he doesn't know that this is half, but it's full, uh, of the universe is also intelligent. Okay? Uh, let's see, body, mind. It's like mind, yes, but mind, minor, there we go. Mind, majors in minding, <laughs> minors in feeling. This stuff, majors in feeling and minors in being aware of itself. So they, uh, one majors in it, and minors in something, the other one, majors in that one's minor, and minors in that one's major. Okay? Yin yang. <laughs> Male, female. Izanagi, Izanami. Uh, uh, this is a first presentation of the two of creation. Again, it's a lesser form, but we have to start somewhere, and the first basics are very important. See, some of you will get very philosophically spiritual. Oh, yes, there is a great he and she of creation. And I'm sorry, but at that level, what are you going to do with it? Nothing's happening. You're happy in your own mind knowing that, but it, it's almost bullshit, even though it's true. Whoever's saying it is kind of like, yeah, it's bullshit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? You have to experience these things. This is a nice, simple way to start an idea. To the pool of energy which responds and creates character and that's going to go on and on yes the picture will get bigger and all of that but that's your starting point very important very important okay uh, back excuse to me, Nando -sensei. excuse me Nando -sensei. this yeah. is Warren and yes. there's some question some people are having difficulty reading your chart could you please oh, okay. tell us what's written on the bottom what is written it's, and what oh, do you mean Activating energies. This is the idea. These are the energies that activate. Thank you. They respond. Yeah. Thank you. I say, hey, I need something. Boom, something is here. Okay. And again, you can call your shots. I need to be more caring. Easy. Now it starts. It's starting to mix up a caring person. Okay. My first one is a little vague because that's not my major, as you know. Uh, but as I continue, I need to be more caring. Hello? You see, it's mixing up. Ah, I'm not, I feel a little softer. Is that it? Stop. Let it be what it is. First, I feel softer. Anything else there? Softer and I know, softer and easier and, and a little. Not so positive, a little more laid back, a little bit. And then I continue. And after a while, it'll mix up a caring person, a caring character. Okay? So, uh, res responding energies to the idea. They know what to do. The idea guy figures, I have to tell them what to do. 
no, 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 no. You'll, you'll screw it up. Let them be what, let them be who they are, doing what they do. Oh, since they did that at his level. <laughs> That's where I picked up the phrase from. They are what they are, doing what they do. And he trusted that and he let them. Okay. Which is, I got to figure out how to how to defeat that guy, and then I got and then I got to tell myself to do this. He didn't do that. He was very clear with me about that. They are what they are, and they're doing what they're doing. And I trust the eventual perfection of all this stuff to just get better and better and better. Okay, as you repeat a dumb practice over and over, you'll see it's getting better. You're starting to go through dimensionality. Okay. Uh, so, uh, remember dimensionality, if somebody's tuning in, uh, wait, uh, do we have a dimension? Oh, okay, there's a dimensionality. So we start here, and we have a certain amount of energies. Again, the picture is bad. They're all the same size. Okay, but we draw this because it's the only way I know to draw it. <laughs> we start at this level, and this mixes up a bobby. Okay, if he catches on to the process, he can go through that paper thin border there. And this next dimension has finer energies and more, could we say? And it will mix up a Robert. That's called lineage. I'm on lineage, Bobby, Robert, whatever. If he continues, Robert will present himself properly and open up. And this. Uh, next dimension of finer energies will mix up na do, continuing sensei, continuing and on and on. I got that, but I think I'm getting too fancy there. Uh, but that's dimensionality, okay? Uh, uh, also, O oh, sensei's pa uh, form pattern he used. Uh, he was very aware of dimensionality. Um, So, again, if we get the tricks of the trade at the first level, how this guy, say he's a Bobby or you, uh, and depending where you start, you start with where you start. Some days you start on a bad day. Uh, some days it's a fair day. No, it's not too bad. Some days it's a good day. Holy shit, what a nice day. I feel great. And everything kind of clicks for you. Uh, it doesn't matter. You start with where you start. And then you play a game to click into the next dimension, which mixes up the next you. Okay? Beyond lineage. Are you working a parent lineage? Are you working a golfer lineage? Are you working a salesman lineage? Are you working a healing lineage? Okay. Oh, same story. I got this from Betsy Hill. Her father was a doctor. Must have been top of the line because he was leading a group of young doctors. I forget what he called young doctors. Resident. Thank you. Uh, resident doctors through the ward. They you know stop at the hospital bed and look at the chart and whatever. The head doctor would ask them later, you know, what they thought and whatever. And so they're checking out one patient, and someplace in there, Betsy's father said uh, to the residents, he said, uh, did you notice that guy had a headache? And none of the other residents saw that or felt that, knew that, and he got irked. See, uh, the doctors were working at that level, let's say. Betsy's father was working this or the next one where he could see from that better dimension of him, he could see things they couldn't see. Or he sensed it. He could sense the guy had a headache. They weren't able to sense because they were still, whatever, being a little heavier as doctors. And he got irked at them. It's almost like he's saying to them, uh, where are you coming from? What dimension are you working from? If he had known those words, I'm sure he would have said that. <laughs> You can't see he had a headache? What the hell dimension are you coming from? Okay. Oh, where are we? Ah, situation. 
situation. Okay. I think we need another picture. Where's my situation picture? Not that one. Ah, this this one. Situation. Okay. Now again, what sparked? What sparked dimensional activity? I can play a game and call it up. I can be very serious about wanting to be better, and that calls it up. Now, sometimes the situation will force the issue. Situation coming at you will call up this guy developing. Okay. Yeah. This one down here is, I just wanted to change since from this situation coming at you to being in the middle of the situation where you say, where'd this come from or what am I doing here? I'm sure you've all said that in some form. Uh, so whichever way you want to look at the situation coming at you or you find yourself in the middle of a situation, no big, big deal. Okay, situation. Uh, in Borea. Kacha, Mr. Kacha. Okay. I'm just hanging out. I'm on the street corner. Da, 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 and suddenly... Bang. Something this is a situation happening. Okay. If I'm not a better level of me, I tighten up, I kick back, my stomach is kind of grabbing. I think my breath stopped there for a moment. Okay. There's a lot of <clears throat> inside. Now, if I do it this way, now if I were in a better dimension, it would mix up a better boom. This already feels different. It doesn't feel like she's in me anymore. And she's saying the same thing. She doesn't feel like she's in me. It uh, feels more like probably going around me. Uh, because I'm a better character, that that used to hurt doesn't hurt anymore. My reaction to it is different because I'm a better character. Now, if I were to settle, open in this situation, I need a character. And trust the energy to mix up a character and this character seems to be sort of enjoying this problem being here seems like he wants to play with it a bit oh i'm happy to be in this situation which is not what i would have said on the first one right oh, better character again easy settle open better character in this situation better character ah boom I am a better character. Ah, I feel where her energies are going. That would be an Aikido example. Okay. But the point is, being a better, standing the same way? I don't think you're standing the other on me. Were you standing that way? Oh, sorry. Ah, being a better character, uh, at that level, I could feel her energies that. I, I, I could feel that. I'm like the doctor story. Okay. Like the doctor would say to the resident, uh, couldn't you feel that she wanted to go that way? Can't you feel that? It was so obvious. At my third level, it's obvious. But on my first level, it's not. <laughs> it's not. I got a problem here. Third level, it's a whole different story. It's, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Good enough. Yeah. <clears throat> so where are we? Situations. Situations. Ah. Maybe we'll do another one. Let's do another one. And you can stand and uh, have an invisible partner if you need one. Ah, let's do the old extended arm one. Okay. Uh, okay. Here's the situation. Let's say the situation is hold the line or strong arm. Okay. Settling. Okay. Uh, don't mind if I'm a little fast with this. But I settle, I open, it mixes up. 
Uh, let's do it from here. Let's do it from here. 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 Let's do it here. Ah, a little stronger. I notice I'm pushing a little bit, but yet there's a bit of fair consistent. Not great, but fair. This wire that's here feels like it's bent a little bit. Okay. Ah. Next level, this is a settling opening. Ah, but I feel a little more like I'm fuller. Uh, there's a touch of a wall here. It's like a wall. I can almost feel it there. The wall. So my sister mixed up Mr. Wall holds the arm. And she's just saying, yes, she can feel that wall. Yeah. <laughs> now that wasn't a push. Don't miss look here. That was this mixing up. That's just the glow of it. That that's why she's moving. It's just the hmm of it. I'm not a push. Okay. That would be the eye trying to do this stuff. Okay. Instead of letting the system last one. Boom. Okay, Is that better? Okay, what's happening here with the system? Is the system say you want a stronger arm? We need a better base to support that arm. Because I can feel my feet really settling. That was the energy's call. You see, you can learn that. Sensei may say to you, have better feet. Uh, that's okay, but I would rather you settle and open and feel your energies, what they're doing. Okay, learn the language of the energies. <sighs> Sometimes I like hear words like uh, "have a good base." I sort of heard it. The other is, I'm seeing an image of, of something that's plugged down to the ground and sort of bolted in nicely. Uh, so as you hang out with the energies, uh, it's a little bit like the. Uh, downtime or the unknown it's active okay it's active and it, it talks everything talks to itself and you know that language you just forgot it because you've been whoops up here an I idea so much you forgot the language of this feeling experience but you know the language you've come back here you'll remember the language as you hang out okay Ah, where are we? So situations. Ah, when we see somebody uh, better positioned, better character in the situation, we have words for that. He rose to the occasion. Something happened and he mixed up, we can say no, he mixed, the mix went on properly. For the occasion, he rose to the occasion. Uh, another phrase: Look at that guy. He's so comfortable looking. He's in his element. So this situation, which to other people would be a problem, he's having a ball with it because he's positioned there with it. There's a relationship. He's in his element. We would say, okay. Ah. The sometimes with the negative side, you're not quite ready, and you say, Oh, the situation is too much, I can't cope with it. Uh, either it is too much, or you haven't learned the tricks of how this assembles pretty quickly after a while. Don't worry about speed right now, get the, get the detailed sense feeling of it, but where this mixes up really fast and appropriate for the situation so there'll be less and less of ah that's too much for me okay so you've got some control over those kinds of neg negatives if you want to practice let's get into the word practice that may not be your word what if you as a little kid your parents forced you to play the piano and you hated it and they would say to you uh practice Practice the piano. I don't think that's a good word for you right now. So 
uh, let's let's play games with our own personal game play to learn how it works and to get into finer of it and and learn about dimensionality experientially learn about the different mixes of a character and how the character feels yeah. uh, stuff like, like that so let's let's play some games uh, so again your own word practice may not be your word play might be your word uh, I remember Terry Dobson uh, back in Japan uh, pondering one day he realized that in Aikido we often said let's go play Aikido uh, and the other martial arts uh, would talk about uh, study let's go study judo uh, and he was one day pondering on the on the different uh, play is a little bit lighter word okay uh, if we had gotten too uh, tight there uh, we'd get away from the real work and get into tight martial art kind of thing anyway I just remember Terry uh, mulling on why there's those very distinct difference of words so let's try play if practice is not your word or find your own word uh, I could say I'm making believe this game but I want you to go into I'm making believe this is an experiential make believe this is a make believe is the trick to get you into the inner reality of dimensionality okay and by the way inner all dimensions are in it, not out there. Okay? It's inner. It may show out there a better mix of inner, may show, I may glow a bit more, even body wise. But it's because of the inner thing is a little fuller that boom, you can see that boom happens. Okay? Uh, a bullshitter learns that that's cool and oh I got it I'll do it he's walking around like that okay that's make-believe he ain't got it really his eye and his awareness are sort of tight up out there bah. okay so is that is that okay when a situation comes at you uh, this will start to reassemble to be equal to the situation best as it can in the time allotted. All right. So you're standing on a street corner, da da, nice day, nothing happens. Suddenly, you actually, an attacker presents himself as actually attacking. What your system is trying to do in that moment is to mix up a defender. Defender. Okay, that's what it's trying to do. Now, when people don't understand how the energy works, that incoming energy trying to mix up uh, could affect them where they're catatonic and frozen perfect victim oh, and they freeze there or the energies could catch them and push on them where they're going ah, 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 and they're, they're doing movements that don't do anything all right but if we do this properly the energies mix up in a balanced balanced way if we get hit by a bunch of energy and we're not used to opening and letting them mix properly, they'll push us. They'll push us into catatonic. They'll push us into reacting crazy. Okay? Is that, is that good enough? Yeah, that? Oh, where are we? Turn the page from me. Let's see where we are. What is that? Ooh. Okay. Inundated by energies or it's a situation, it's heavy duty. In the old days of Aikido, we always, I don't know if this was a true story, but we always used it. Uh, the kid's working on his car, the jack slips, car falls on him, he's pinned. Grandma says, oh, and grandma comes over and lifts the car enough so he can slide out. That was our old story. What I read that was written up really well, a motorist, there's an accident across the way. He stops to see if he can help. Car, the, the car's on fire. He goes over. Guy's stuck in there. Can't open the door. And he grabs the door and he rips the door open. Got the guy out safely. Later, he said something like, I could never do that again. 
I don't know how that happened. It was, it was for him to rip the door off like he did. It was unbelievable. What happened? He got one hell of a lot of energy because of the situation. And he was natural enough to have it mix up. Boom! Door ripper. Okay? Cool story. Uh, peak experience, right, follows that pattern. You're doing something and you're naturally kind of open and suddenly everything clicks and you're feeling great hanging off the mountain by your fingertips saying this is cool anyway peak experience is dealing with a lot of incoming energy properly where it's allowed it mixes up and properly uh blends with it harmonizes with the situation uh so situational you might notice this trying to happen. Let's say you're this guy, and here comes a situation which is a real dumb guy that you really, he drives you up the wall. And suddenly he's coming down the street towards you. And, and you know he's going to stop you and talk to you and bug you with whatever insanity he usually hits you with. That's why you don't, ah, not that guy. As soon as you see him, you're already, ah, not that guy. And he comes closer, and you're, ah, you're starting to, Look for a way to run or start to crawl or start to get tight. Uh, that's your system reacting. If we were to do this properly, uh, make up story. The system is trying to mix up a character, you, who would be more appropriate with this guy. Even if he's dumb, you would be at a certain sense of something where you'd accept his dumbness or, or give you patience where you could hang out with him even though he's a fool uh whatever so doing this properly uh there's a lot of potential um uh, for people who work with kids you can create a game just with that uh you're standing there and here comes a guy that's going to push you or something uh, create a game but teach them how this system uh, how this system is trying to mix up better for that situation Bring it down to a child's level, okay? Ah, so situation, situations. Do we have time? Make up your own game real quick because we're running out of time. Oopa! Here we go. Okay. The game is uh, pick up something. Okay. Now we know if you just pick it up, this guy's gonna hurt his back. But. Now, because we're so advanced, that said tongue in cheek, there's a sign on the wall that says, Bend your knee when you lift. Oh, sorry to say, we're so bad that we and my back may still go out. My knees were bent, yeah, but it wasn't a bent knee person. Settle. Open and the body is trying to mix up. A bit better. There's pick it up better or pick it up. My job is pick up. Oh, okay, wait. Ah, uh, up. Mixing up, fine tuning. Team, go. It's a sense of a beat here, something. Down beat, and then it'll be an up beat. 